Hi, so I want to talk today about the blog I wrote about my Dr. Motions compression socks. Um, I wrote this blog quite a while ago. I think it was with my first pregnancy a few years ago. And I've tried a lot of compression products since then, and this is the one that seems to be the most popular, and so I wanted to review this one on video. So Dr. Motion, you can find them in most um, clothing stores, like mega, you know, supermarket stores. You can find them very easily on Amazon. So this particular set that I got was this floral pattern, and I got a pack of six that were different colors, and it was about $35 when I got these a few years ago. So very good deal actually for compression socks because compression socks can get actually pretty expensive. So compression socks are a really good option for anyone that's on their feet a lot of the day. If you're um, a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, you're just standing, especially if you're standing on some sort of um, hard surface, anyone that's in like a serving industry, um, anything like that, they're just a good way to help maintain that good venous return of blood flow back up into the system so you don't have a lot of inflammation, edema, pooling of fluid by the end of the day. For me, like I mentioned, it was specifically problematic during pregnancy where I have this big increase in blood volume and all of a sudden I started to get spider veins around my ankles and they were, it wasn't just, you know, not that cute, right? They actually get kind of painful, they get red or bruised looking, puffy. So if I was busy standing most of my day, I would come home, my feet would really hurt. <laughs> and, um, and then also if I was being super active, like exercising even just for an hour, it's just a lot of pounding where you're getting a lot of overload of those veins and you may be making spider veins worse if you do have them. So compression is a really good option. So these Dr. Motion socks are um, graduated compression. These are not medical grade, right? So this is similar to what you might find for like a marathon running sock, right? So I got knee high, that's pretty common in the running world. Um, they are very, very cheap compared to typical running socks. So marathon compression socks are gonna be up to like $50 a pair. And so to get six of these for $35, it was a really great way to buy a bunch in bulk to be able to rotate them out daily and have different pairs to wear to work. Um, I also really liked that specifically with Dr. Motion for the pretty low price. They have a bunch of different patterns, a bunch of different color schemes, so you can kind of get creative or you know decide what works for you, for your style, or for your work clothes, um, and whatever look you wanna go for. They're relatively easy to pull on into place because they are just moderate compression. They're not super heavy compression, um, and so this is gonna be something that's pretty easy for me to just put on myself when you get into higher compression, you're probably, a lot of people will need help pulling on compression garments. So these are just, you know, super basic entry level compression. Um, what else? So because they're graduated compression, that means it's gonna be more compression down here, kind of around the foot, ankle, and it's gonna gradually get less and less compressive as you get to the top. So the goal for that is to create this gradient for the, the blood volume to return a little more easily to your heart. And that's just gonna ideally make your feet, ankles, legs a lot more comfortable by the end of the day if you have been standing, right? So, I mean, I recommend compression for a lot of people and I think these are a very good starting compression. See if these work, they're cheap, they're easy to find, they may be a great option. The cons are, <clears throat> they are not medical grade. So <laughs> I also have some medical grade compression. These are more of like what you might see um, in a drugstore if someone has had knee replacement, hip replacement, um, if they have chronic um, venous insufficiency issues where they're just not getting good blood return, right? Probably need medical grade. Medical grade, are pain they're a huge pain in the butt to get on because they're really 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 compressive so oftentimes people will need help pulling these on so it's really nice that you can do these yourself but they may just not provide enough compression so if you have been prescribed medical grade compression for some reason from your doctor um, don't sub out for something simple like this this is for like the everyday use this is for a preventative measure like if I said like if you're someone that's standing all day these are a great option. They are pretty good for someone that has, you know, maybe temporary edema, like with pregnancy, where you're just kind of puffy and full all the time. This might be a good option. 
if you're someone with super chronic edema and you have um, a lot of skin discoloration, changes in skin, all that kind of stuff, this is not what you want. You want this, right? And you want to talk to your doctor about the level of compression. Um, this one doesn't even come, it doesn't say this is the amount of pressure, it just says moderate. So with these, you're gonna get different like weights of compression that you can, you can get prescribed. So this is kind of one size fits all. For me personally, anecdotally, um, I still had some progression on my spider veins in those pregnancies where I was wearing these. So it may not have been enough compression for me, but anecdotally also, it did feel a lot better when I was working out wearing compression. They are hot though. <laughs> Any compression garment, if you are, let's say pregnant in the middle of the summer and you're trying to get out and walk, putting this on, putting like your belly band, all that kind of stuff on, you're gonna be hot. So <laughs> keep that in mind also, they're not meant to be super breathable. They are meant to create like a pump, that pump for your blood flow. So overall, I really like Dr. Motion. These socks, cheap, um, accessible, one size fits all. You can get a bunch of different colors, patterns, and they're gonna provide that preventative compression for people that need it. The con, they're not gonna be enough for people that need that medical grade compression and need to really have a specific weight of how much compression they're getting in their legs. Okay, thank you.